this announcement today. I do want to thank Jamie Pollard and the Iowa State family uh, for opening up this facility for us to be able to make this announcement. I also want to thank the media for taking the time to come and many of the partners who helped us make our work come to life, including Heidi and Trey Meadows, and Bankers Trust, the Iowa Cubs, and American Energy, as well as Iowa Health System. Today we're here to talk about our most significant recognition at Character Counts in Iowa, the Robert E. Ray Killer Character Award. This award is a prestigious award that goes to individuals that have exemplified uh, and demonstrated great character, as well as work to develop the character in the lives of others. This award was presented to Governor Ray in 2003 for his visionary leadership, creating Character Counts in Iowa, and for his exemplifying great character for all of his years of public service. It was at that time that we named this award in his honor. Since that time, we've given this award to a great group of individuals that have demonstrated the type of character that I must come to love and expect, including Goldberg Warlock, Aiden Fry, Dr. Tom Davis, Sean Johnson, Dallas Clark, Ed Thomas, Austin Slay, and Aaron Campbell. Today we're here to announce the 2013 recipient of the Robert E. Ray Killer Character Award, which will be presented at the All-Star Union of Benefit Character Counts on April 19, 2013. I'd like to say just a few things about the recipient before we have him come up here today. He is a native of Ames and was a high school athlete both in football and basketball where he played and captained the state championship team and was known and named as Mr. Iowa Basketball. He went on from that great career, accepting a scholarship here to play basketball at Iowa State, and at the time turning down an offer to play football in Nebraska, which is something that I most recently learned. While he was here at Iowa State, he became one of the most beloved players in Iowa State history. He owns many significant records. He was a first team All Big Eight selection in 1995 and he was the freshman of the year in the Big Eight in his first year. I won't tell you all the statistical uh, measures that he has, but he is one of the great all time players here at Iowa State. Also at Iowa State, he was in the Phi Kappa Alpha fraternity, which is dedicated to developing men of integrity, intellectual success, and high moral character. He went on and was drafted in the 1995 draft by the Indiana Pacers, where he had a great career and also played for the Chicago Bulls and the Minnesota Timberwolves, played for some outstanding coaches both in college and in the pros. And not long after he had successful heart surgery, he did announce his retirement and moved into the coaching staff at the Timberwolves, where he became the vice president of basketball operations. In 2010, to the joy of Grateful State and all the Cyclone Nation, he became the 19th head basketball coach here at Iowa State University, where he's led the team to the NCAA tournament in 2012 and was named the co-coach of the year. Now, following on his heart surgery, he's also become very engaged in the cause of heart issues and heart awareness. He has been very involved with Camp Odan in Minnesota, where he's worked with young people with heart issues. He also participated in one of the 2011 head coach tournament at Shops in the Heart. I would say that he's probably most honored, though, with his title and recognition as husband of Kara and father of four children, Paige, Jax, and Charlie. And bringing him up here, what I want you to know of all of the things that I just shared with you about our recipient, that talk about his successes in life, from high school to his current position. The reason that he is going to be the recipient of this award is because in each of those activities, in each of those experiences, he has demonstrated in every action a high degree of character. He is a man that exemplifies the significance of good character and now is committed to dedicating his life to developing good character in others. Please join me in welcoming our 2013 recipient of the Robert E. Gray Pillar of Character Award, Coach Fred Weber. Thank you, Scott. That was, uh, that was great. You um, uh, pumped up my ego a little bit right there. Um, first of all, I just want to say how thankful I am uh, for this unbelievable award, uh, Governor Ray. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to share this award with past recipients, uh, such as Dr. Tom Davis, who I've gotten to know uh, very well uh, since he retired uh, from the University of Iowa, and what great respect I had for him uh, playing against his teams 
and then getting to know him a little bit off the court, uh, playing golf with, uh, with Coach Davis and Coach Orr, uh, which is an absolute thrill uh, to do that. And to know all the good things that he has done uh, for people over the course of his life. Uh, as well as Hayden Fry, Hayden actually recruited me uh, to play quarterback in Iowa. And uh, just the humanitarian uh, efforts that he has done for the state of Iowa uh, as well. Uh, and all the other uh, recipients. And I look at a guy like Ed Thomas, uh, who as a coach, you look at people that impact people's lives and their role as a mentor uh, that they play uh, for these young people. And to see through the Ed Thomas Foundation uh, how he continues to impact uh, young people's lives is just incredible. And, and to be a recipient of award, an award, uh, to share that uh, with, with guys like that, uh, with people like Sean Johnson, uh, who I've done several events with, uh, and how she has done a great job with the anti-bullying campaign, and uh, just with several efforts that she has done with get people to move uh, and help them be active uh, it is awesome. Uh, Alice Clark, Aaron Campbell, just all the great people, uh, they're past recipients of this award. And you have done great. And, and thank you for uh, all that you've done for the state of Iowa as well. Um, with that, I'll, I'll open it up for questions if, if anybody has any. Bobby? Um, when did you first find out about this? And when were you, in the you know, when I found out about this about a month ago, uh, and one of my all time favorite coaches, Jim Allen, uh, who was an assistant at Iowa State when I played here under Coach Orr, uh, he ca called me and uh, he talked to me that, uh, that I would potentially be receiving this award. Uh, then Scott and Governor Ray called me on the phone uh, that next day uh, let me know that, that I was the recipient. And again, it's a tremendous honor. You know, you, for me, you know, was raised <laughs> about four blocks from campus and, and just loved Iowa State athletics uh, all the way through my childhood. Um, you know, starting when I was two years old, uh, when my dad took a job at Iowa State. Uh, but the way that I was raised, you know, my parents both being educators, my dad a professor at Iowa State, my mother an elementary school teacher, you know, they raised me with the right priorities. And, you know, they always talked about academics and, and made that a, a huge priority for me. I'd always treat people with respect. Uh, so, you know, I was raised by great parents. You know, my mom and dad, uh, it's great to be back here uh, with my grand, uh, my kids can, uh, can be close to their grandparents. Uh, and, and I thank them.